And now just whoa! How did what? It, it, it. Howdy, folks, and welcome back to Arc Pugnacia Adventures. Got some cool news, some great news. Look at this. S Plus released, and I'm overburdened and I can't move. S Plus released, and it uh, has the new structures, the S Plus structures. I went ahead and crafted a bunch and tore down my base. I'm not going to rebuild it all on camera here. Let's see if I figured out this, this tactic for doing this. You do it that way? Yeah. Head and then chest, and then you get the builder's helmet weight benefit. Okay, cool. Anyway, I'm not going to rebuild this whole thing in front of you guys. I don't want to don't want to bore you. Um, but the cool thing is S Plus will connect out. It will place outside the water, and it will connect to other structures. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Now, I'm running into some weirdness. I got the ramps to connect just fine. But I'm running into some real weirdness because of the water. Um, these rooms I've told to to uh, empty the water. So now they say flood the, the water, but there's, there should be no water in here, but there is water in here. And then when I come down here, it looks like I'm underwater. And sometimes I am, like here. There you go, drain water. Right, but in this room, for instance, I am not, there is no water in here, theoretically. Right, they're both, they both say flood compartments, so there's no water here, yet it looks like I'm underwater. And it, be, it behaves really weirdly. Like down here, it makes a, it gives a little swimming motion, but I'm walking along the ground. So it's a little confused about where I am, I think. So we may want to not try to build these above the water, <laughs> is what I'm getting at. We might want to just stick to underwater for these things and have a have a moon pool or some, some way to get in. But anyway, I'm going to bore you guys with that. I've torn down the old base, and I'm going to reconstruct it uh, using S+. What I really want to do is tame one of these new special Arthropleura. I think they're like primal Arthropleura or something. So what we're going to do is first we're going to put all of this stuff back here on where, where it doesn't weigh me down. <laughs> and we're going to fly on Holly and go looking for one of these primal Arthropleura. Now, wait a minute. Do I have? Yeah, I do. Okay, good. I have the instant golden kibble, and I do have this guy, although I think I just put all my ammo over here. Um, why did I do that? Uh, where's the ammo? There's the ammo. Okay. Woo. And the game is frozen. Hello? Uh, hello? Hello? Um, there we go. <laughs> okay. Weird. All right. We've got our knockout juice. We've got Holly. And from what I understand, I think Scriptar had mentioned this to me, that I believe they spawn in the Redwoods. Uh, so, if we head to where the redwoods are, which I think is towards the volcano from here, from the, uh, there's the crash spaceship. I'm sorry for the frames. I'm getting a little framey here loading in. Uh, from the, uh, there you are. There's the redwoods right in front of us. Basically, from the winter biome, we head towards the volcano. And apparently, that prime Arthropleura actually spawns. Here we are frozen again. What's going on? Woo! A little bit laggy today. Uh, spawns somewhere here in the redwoods, so we have to go find one. Is that? That's not one down there, is it? What am I looking at? No. Just turtles. Why did I think that was one of them? What's over there? Is that a prime dung beetle? What is that? Or am I just... I'm going insane. <laughs> I'm going insane. I don't know what I'm looking at. Okay. Anyway, uh, okay. I guess we're going to fly around and look for one of these things. I was hoping maybe they'd be on the beach or something. What are you? You look cool. Are you just a regular old raptor? You're probably, yeah, you're just a regular old raptor. And a little jerboa, I think. Yeah, a little jerboa. Huh. Huh. Out in the wild. Weird. Okay. Strange things are happening. Maybe we should uh, land and run around on foot. Maybe that'll be easier for us to find. Whoa. Are you an iguanodon? You are. You're a 252. Don't care about you. Okay. Um... Yeah. You guys are all fighting. You need to find one of these things. Okay, we're not in the Redwoods anymore. What am I doing? I don't know. Redwoods are over here. Okay, hello, Spino. Okay, now we're in the Redwoods. <laughs> all right. Uh, Pego that can't actually steal things from you anymore, which I love about this game. Uh, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, look at that beautiful, look at the beautiful, look at the beautiful rack on that one. <laughs> oh, 
puke green and everything. That's awesome. Okay. Are we still in the Redwoods? We are. Arthropleura? Arthropleura? Spitter? I hate you spitters normally, but I want one of you because these Arthropleura are supposed to be able to generate artifacts. You know the artifacts you get from caves? They're supposed to be able to automatically generate that stuff, I guess, when they're on wander. So we're going to have to figure out some way to uh, put them in a position where they can wander or something. So let's go do that. Or we might even try out one of those new, uh, they have a new, like, uh, ponderous ball or something heavy that you can put down on these things when you want them to set them on wander, but you don't want them to actually move. We might try that as well. So here's a ruin. So what do we got going on here? We got an explorer node in here maybe somewhere? That'd be cool. be cool if we had one of those. No? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. There it is. Close note. Get rid of you. Don't care. Thank you. I got the XP bonus, although I'm not actually doing anything with it right now. Uh, hmm. Martha Plura, Martha Plura, Martha Plura. All right, guys. I guess I'm going to keep looking, and uh, and we'll be back as soon as we find one. What are you? What are you, sir? Oh, you're only an 84. Or oh, 184 or an 84? 84. Yeah, it's XP. Okay, I was through the forest, couldn't... F I found one that kept spawning, but it was a regular Arthropleura. I've come to the desert, and I found a Primal. It's uh, only a 168, but it's still a Primal. The point is to make the uh, the thingies, so I'm thinking we should give it a try and see if we can knock it out. Uh, uh. One shot. It's down. You just need to kill this guy. Get over here, get over here, get over here, get over here. Don't kill that guy, don't kill that guy. Come here, come here. Fight me. Fight me land so I can fight you better. There's another scorpion somewhere nearby because your mate boosted. There it is. Alright, that one's dead. You know what? I think I'm just going to go ahead and tame this guy up. I think we're in good shape. Alright. Look at the little cap. I got a little hat on. That's cool. Let's put that in there. Oh yeah. And we want to get rid of this. Get this guy out of here. So let's go ahead and bag him. Pick him up. And we'll get going home. Woohoo! I'm sorry I killed your mate. I'm sorry. Okay, so I hear tell that these things, when they're on wander, will generate artifacts. Now, the question I have, and what I, I don't know the answer to yet, because I haven't looked it up, is do they, first of all, how long does it take? Second of all, do they generate just one artifact at a time that you have to then take out of the creature? Or do they generate uh, multiple artifacts over time? Or does each one, and is it the, is it all the artifacts? Or... If you tame one, is it set to give you one particular artifact? Then you have to go tame another one to give you another kind of artifact? I'm, these are all questions I wish to answer. So, I'm going to land here. We're going to put you out on the ground. There you go. Kind of, sort of. Uh, we'll tell you to stop following us. Maybe you'll land on the ground. Kind of. Well, now we need you to follow us to get out of that hole. Get out of the refrigerator, please. There you go. Okay. Uh, we need a, I need a saddle. That's cool. That's good to know. Uh, this is a female. Alright, so how much was a saddle for one of these things? Uh, Arthropleura, have I learned it? Uh, I have, okay. I need some wood and some obsidian. That's not a problem. Uh, oh yeah, you can start typing W now. Oh, you're supposed to be able to, yeah, wood. There you go. Uh, you're supposed to be able to type the letter of the first thing you're trying to get to instead of having to scroll to it now, which is really cool. Let's go 5,000 wood from the grinder. And obsidian, there it is. Oh, that's that is really nice. Uh, we'll grab them from the trike and from Mikey. Okay, put that away. And Arthropleura saddle crafting up. And of course, we're gonna have to max this thing out. That's what we do. That's what we do around here. Uh, what does this need to upgrade? It needs obsidian and primal hide. I may not have a lot of primal hide left realize that I may need to go uh, go killing some primals and getting some whoops I didn't want that in there getting some primal hide these just oh gosh you don't know how many times guys that I've come over here and I've clicked this button by mistake there's no there's no confirmation it doesn't say are you sure you want to salvage that it just wipes out everything I did if I sometimes I've upgraded it all the way to like the yellow right below the red right below the ascendant and I hit salvage accidentally I hate that <laughs> I do need more primal hide I'm gonna have to go to my stash. I got a stash up here. Let's see if we've got some primal hide in it. We do. Got some primal hide in our stash. 
All right, that's just where I keep the really exotic things that are hard to get. I just don't want to, like, lose track of them, so I keep them in my stash. Okay, so that's, uh, no, that's not where I wanted them. <laughs> I want them over here. Okay, upgrade. Don't hit the salvage button. Don't hit the salvage button. Upgrade. More obsidian. I have more obsidian. Uh, oh. Uh, Ignatius Smithy? Really? I, th I thought I took all that obsidian. I guess I didn't. And we'll take it from the grinder as well. All right. Upgrade. Okay, got purple. We're up to yellow, and here comes the last one. Oh, cementing paste. Yeah, we have cementing paste as well. In fact, I'm going to go do what I normally do whenever I need cementing paste. I just come out here and I just grab uh, what's in here just to make sure I'm, you know, continually slowly resupplying my uh, my inventory. Oh, well, I can't hold all that wood, apparently. There we go. I got too many people on Wander here. I don't need them on Wander for the gas, for instance. I don't need that dodo to be on Wander. And I don't need the sheep to be on Wander at all. But I think it's just cool to have them wandering around. <laughs> and since it's a nice little pinned in area, that works. Okay. Cementing paste. We'll throw some wood in there, too. Can I upgrade you now? There it is. Primal, or whatever it is. Top one, Ascendant. That's right. Primal is what it is. It's Ascendant. So, uh, I have some more armor augmenters. So we're going to augment. We're just going to repeat this process until we have max armor. Okay, we've got the saddle. Put on you. You can wear a costume, too. Let's, first of all, let's ride this guy. What does this look like? Uh, I can't get any closer into K-Camera, which kind of sucks. It's kind of cool, though. All right, let's turn this around this way. How's it looking? Oh, that's pretty fun. <laughs> I love that baseball cap. It's turned around backwards, too. That's hilarious. I'm loving that. That is awesome. Okay, does he jump? No. Does he crouch attack? No. At least not with... Yeah, not with the rebound crouch attack I have. And the, I tried jump. Primary is a bite. Secondary is a spit, I would imagine. Yep. Secondary is a spit. And it seems to track to where I'm pointing. Well, kind of. Within reason. Hmm. Not always. All right. Uh, that's normal movement. Sprint is just a little bit faster. So, first of all, we're going to go with some speed. I think it's a little too slow, but I don't want to go too fast. Let's go some more melee. Uh, it has a good saddle, so 50,000 is probably good for now for that. Uh, weight, I don't know that I need that much, but I don't know how much the artifacts weigh. I, I think they actually weigh something now, so let's go some more melee. Okay, that's speed. That's Yeah, I mean, considering the fact I'm not really planning on taking this guy out. This is decent speed. It's pretty decent speed. All right, so where do we want to take this guy? We want to take him out here. Can we get through this door? Okay, can we open this door? There we go. And get through. Oh, we got through. This is our wander pin. Or wonder pin, you might want to call it. Okay, I'm going to turn you off wandering. And I'm going to turn the dodo off wandering. Just because, just because. Let me get to you, dodo. You are gassy. Uh, disable wandering. Okay. I'm going to park these guys elsewhere. Gassy will park right here, I guess. So the poops are right outside the door. Uh, I cannot ride you, right? Oh, I can ride you. That's right. I don't need a saddle. Uh, you're for high or fur, so I'm going to park you there. Perfect. All right. Now you. Uh, one, uh, not a nail following. Wander. There we go. How long does it take you to make anything? Let's find out. Well, you haven't made anything yet. This thing has a turret mode too, right? Because the regular ones have a turret mode, I would imagine. Yep, enable turret mode was there. I saw it. Okay, we'll come back later and see how that guy is. Let's go back and uh, work a little bit on our underwater base, uh, upgrading it to S+, plus while we wait for this. I got great news, guys. I got great news. I got great news. <laughs> Took a little break, had some dinner, had some lasagna, my favorite food. I like to, as I like to call it, lasagna. It's pretty much my favorite food. I mean, that and pizza. Um, and oh, I can still taste it. In the meantime, S Plus updated.
and uh, they made a little change in the change notes that said you no longer have a swimming effect in uh, vacuum chambers that have water in them or, or that are near water or whatever. In other words, yeah, this is the one where we used to be swimming. Our arms would fly forward like we were swimming. Whoa, a little bit of lag there. Not doing it anymore. Not doing it anymore. Not doing it. I love it. All right, we can actually do this. We can run it all the way up to the house, which is what I wanted, all the way up to the base, house, base, whatever. You know what I mean? Perfect. All right, so now we just need to make more vacuum chambers. All right, um, what do I need to make more vacuum chambers? Here we go. Uh, I need a lot more polymer. I think I actually have a ton, ton of polymer. I think it's just all in the refrigerator, isn't it? Uh, so, O, 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 there it is. <laughs> Oh yeah, oh it's in the tech replicator as well. What's else? What else is in this tech? Oh, oh, wait a minute, what's that? Element shard. I don't really need any element shard. Where's my transfer gun? It's on two. So right click, set source, left click, transfer completed. Tech. How many of you vacuum chambers can I make? I want to make one more moon pool, maybe. I think, right? Maybe. Do I already have a moon pool? Did I make some stuff? Is it in here? <laughs> yes. I have two S plus moon pools already, so I don't need to make any more of those. I don't really need a tech generator, because as you see, those run without power, which is just awesome. Now, we're supposed to be able to put stuff in there, too, because it's at the same height as normal walls, so we should be able to put walls and things in there. Oh, man, this is going to be a lot of fun. All right. Uh, regular old tech chambers. There they are. Vacuum compartments. 61. Not going to need 61. Let's make, oh, I don't know, another 20, 20, uh, 24, 20? Let's make another 20. Look at this. Oh, hi, Granger. Look at this cool thing, too. Um, the I was putting the ramps in the middle because that's where they were before. But they can snap on the sides. Whoops. Oh, wait, what? Because I placed something in here, it reset the water? What? That, it reset the water for everything? That's not right. That's not right. Let me let me do an experiment here. So I'm in water again. So let's drain water again. I don't know why. He really needs to come up. The S plus guy is really good at guns that do things. You know, little little setter guns and things. He needs to come up with a water drain or or water flood gun. <laughs> I think as well. Um, so let's see. There's an experiment. I just emptied the water down there. Where's my ramp? There's my ramp. Okay. I must have hit the wrong key. We'll do that again. <laughs> Okay, just placed the ramp. Now is my water back? Yeah. Did you see that? When I placed the ramp, I saw the little effect of the water flooding in. Well, that kind of sucks. But it is good that I can put the ramps here, so I guess I'll take advantage of the water to float around in here since I don't need to worry about oxygen with my great volcanic armor. And I'm going to go ahead and make these ramps too wide, and I'm actually going to increase the ceiling height too so we can actually bring um, some animals down here if we want to. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. Okay, so I placed the ramps, and as I went to place another cube up here, another vacuum compartment to make this a little taller, everything flooded again. It's like it resets the flood state of everything. Uh, and even though we get the particle particle effects in here, like it's water, it's not really water. We're not uh, we're not swinging around. Now I emptied out these two compartments. These over here are flooded still. But I emptied out these two because I'm curious. If I place down anything, does it reset? So if I put down a chair, uh, there's that red chair. Am I now flooded? No. Okay. Well, that's kind of cool. Now, doors. I'm curious. Yeah, you can. We can put doors. And we get... It's a two-story building, so we could put uh, ceilings. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's nice. Oh, but as soon as I put a door, boom. And it's everything. Ah. Oh, it's going to be so frustrating, guys. All the building materials, you have to. we're going to have to build everything out and then drain it all and then not change anything. If we change anything, we have to go drain everything again. There's no way to drain everything. I don't think. I mean, I could power it, I suppose, and force a drain that way. Don't really want to, but I suppose I could. The S Plus, um, the cool thing about that is the S Plus tech generator, uh, this one right here, consumes the uh, fuel much uh, m much slower. <laughs> That's probably the right way to say that. Uh, what's the tech generator we had in here? This was not the S+, right? 
Nope, regular old tech generator. So I'm going to take that out here, and I'm going to actually generate another one just so that I don't have to hassle with it right now. I might go through and, uh, and actually, I'm also going to check and see if I, uh, if I take this. Whoa, okay, well, I wish I could right-click and drag like I used to be able to. All right, so here's the S+, Plus. here's the regular. Uh, I need some element, but I don't need a lot because one lasts, I think, 24 hours now. One element will last 24 hours in the S+, Plus, which is really cool. So 500 element should last pretty much the entire life of the server. <laughs> uh, regular tech generator, I'm going to go ahead and grind that up. And take all of those and put them back. All right, and then I'm going to put that... Actually, I'll hold on to that right now. That's just for the heck of it. Take this S Plus Tech Generator, and we're going to throw it down here somewhere. In fact, ooh, I know where to put it. Uh, well, right under here would be fine, too. I was going to say further back, but right here is absolutely fine. It'll be underneath the ramp. I'll never have to get to it for fuel anyway. So if we put all of this in here... Oh, not that 30, the 500... There we go. Activate the power. Um, it actually, I think it defaults to the large range. But look at that. It looks like it has to... Can I flood, uh, drain everything? Does that drain it for the entire structure or just for that? No, dang it. See, it doesn't do it for everything. Let's show range here. Uh, show generator range. Yeah, look at that. A just generator basically would power this entire cavern. So it's not that's not it. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Well, that sucks. I I hope I'm sure he will. I'm sure he'll fix it. The S plus guy is really good. So I'm sure he's going to see this and well, he's not going to see this video, but he's going to hear about this and uh, and probably fix this problem. So that's cool. Oh, it snapped good. Perfect. All right. Well, back to building. Oh, okay, that's going to take a while. <laughs> Putting all the structure, then draining every compartment by hand. Well, let's check on our Arthur Pura. Hey, how you doing, buddy? Hey, come in. Come, come, uh, follow me. Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Stand still. That was crazy. Did you see that? What do you got? Oh, 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 yeah. More than one of each. Oh, yes. Is this every one? 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 artifacts. I think that's all of them, right? Wow. Let's go a little bit more on the speed, by the way. Wow. Awesome. Now, of course, I can only take one of each of these out. <laughs> oh, no. How, how did it give me all of them when it says only one person... Uh... Only one of these may be carried by type by an organism. Whoops. The transfer all functionality is a little buggy in ARC right now. But I'll take it. So I'm going to put these where they belong. And I think... Actually, I don't have a good place for these. Do I have a place for these? Let's just throw them over here. Uh, let's transfer all these over here. And then I actually wanted to take... Just really quickly take this Arthur Pluer out and do a little bit of fighting. And see what it does. But I love how quickly... I mean, that was literally... Ooh... How long in real time? Was that about like three or four hours, I think, in real time that I was gone? I don't know. Oh, he's been following me. Sorry, buddy. Or sorry, ma'am. <laughs> that hat is going to just drive me crazy. All right. Uh, where am I disabling, following, or wander, wander, wander? That's what I want. Disable wander. Thank you. Disable following. Uh, I don't have a name for you. I should name you. Oh, you're... Oh, I know it. <laughs> Uh, um, we're going to call you Trophy. Yeah. Yeah. Now, does it climb up things? Because it was climbing up the wall. And it's hard to see. i got to go first person here. Doesn't seem to be doing anything. Whoa! Oh, no. It didn't really go up there. It just looked like it did. I'm trying to hold down the jump. Like you can do with some of the animals that can climb things. And no, just... Whoa! How did... What? It, 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 am I glitching? What's going on here? How am I getting up these weird... Up these heights? Okay, I'm holding down jump. Is that what's doing it? No, it just kind of wiggles through. Oh, and it floats down very much like the... Uh, trilobite does. Uh, the prodigious trilobite. 
So what can we attack? And how much damage can we do? I'm curious. And what does the spit do? I just have to find some kind of animal around here now. <laughs> That's going to be the hard part. I don't know why there's no animals. Where, oh, well, brontos. But I don't really want to fight a bronto. I don't think. Uh, okay, there's some right there. Okay, there we go. Yomia and a raptor. Let's fight the raptor. Okay. Oosh. Spit didn't do anything. Let's bite. Oh, 3,000. Not bad. He's only doing six damage to me. Do I have something on my shoulder? Because I got one point of damage was being done by something. Huh, weird. All right, Fiomi is a little slower, so we might be able to hit it with, with some acid. Ooh, not bad. It's not a DOT thing, but it is a ranged weapon. Uh-oh. Just realized I just bit a Bronto. That's okay. We'll fight it. We'll fight it. Oh, we did it too. <laughs> ah, okay, does it harvest anything? And it knocks down trees with a primary. Secondary... The acid knocks down trees, too. Let's see, if, does it really knock down trees? Oh, yeah, it does. From a distance. Does it do stone? No. Can I harvest stone this way? No. Crouch, no. More melee. Ooh, lots more melee. Nice. Got a raptor over here. Hello, Mr. Raptor. Would you like to come visit me? And spit. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye.